What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I didn't plan on making a video today. I actually planned on chilling, relaxing. But you guys were hitting me up on Instagram and Twitter. Um, Ryback, aka Cryback, uh, has struck again on Twitter. He, he lets his Twitter fingers go and he starts saying some wild shit. Uh, apparently, he went at Vince McMahon. Now, granted, a lot of us have said some disparaging things about Vince. Granted, it, it mostly stems from his poor booking decisions. Vince booking decisions sometimes don't make a lick of sense. But I will say most people don't really go at like his health or go at his family in a, in a sense of like wishing harm and death. If you do do that, you need to chill. It's not that serious. You need to calm down. This is a human being at the end of the day. We may not agree with his booking decisions, but never go at someone in a way where you're wishing death upon them and their loved ones or you talk about someone that's passed recently in their life. Like It's, it's, it's kind of scummy, kind of disgusting. It's not that serious. You should never get that serious. But Ryback likes to take it to the next level. And... He says some really disparaging things on Twitter and he double downs on it and is not apologetic and it's it's quite disgusting. I get your disdain for Vince, but come on, bro. It's this is this is unnecessary. Let's see what Cryback had to tweet about. At Vince McMahon, like most promoters, has an insatiable urge to have control. He had no control watching his mom get beat beat up as a child which is a horrendous thing for a child for a kid to witness as their whore mom tries to make ends meet. Vince has failed to evolve. Fuck you, old man. And with a winky emoji right there in itself. That's fucked up, bro. Vince's mom recently just passed. I want to say earlier this year. And for you to do that, even if she didn't pass for you to say, say that, what what did you get out of that? What what make did that make your situation any better? Granted, Vince may have treated you wrong or you feel like he's done you wrong in WWE in the past, but does that did that make your situation any better now? You just had to get that off your chest. Got a little cryback. He proceeds. It's so crazy how many people are okay with a psycho billionaire toying with innocent people's lives and whoring out a human circus, but can't stand the actual truth of that man's psychological weakness. 48 laws of power. Your clock is ticking, old man. You take nothing with you. Another winky face. Bro. I, I, I can't even process where this is coming from. What prompted him to tweet this out of, out of nowhere? Like I can't even process tweeting this and thinking, oh, this is going to get him. I'm going to get my point across. You know, I'm, I'm woke. I know about the 48 laws of power. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to sign it with a winky face emoji. All right. It's, it's crazy, man. For someone that sits up there and, and talks about a human circus, he's the real circus. He's the biggest clown of them all cry back let's get into what else he had to say this can't be debate debated and is a fact this man has killed more wrestlers than anyone and continues to as he approaches his end his mother was a nice and sweet woman but i will speak the truth as this living demon continues to try and hurt me and my brand hashtag ryback trademark you're hurting your own brand whether vince is doing something behind the scenes granted i I don't really think Vince could care that much. He's running a billion dollar entity. I don't think hurting Ryback's brand is on the pri top priority of his list. But you being a clown? Oh, you're hurting your own brand. You really should get into the circus business. I think wrestling is, is in the past for you. You should definitely be a clown. A buff ass buffoon of a clown. That's what you are. You're hurting your own brand, not Vince. And he continues to double down. Someone re uh, responded, it's not too late to apologize and state you went over the line. It would be mighty big, big guy of you, which is understandable. You did go over the line. That would be something humane, human-like, you know, that that would be a, an appropriate response. 
He says, 100% no, I stand by what I said. And I appreciate all the love and support from those who side with good over evil. I simply am speaking the truth on why he is the way he is. And it needs to be known. Stop supporting evil. Hmm. So were you supporting evil when at one point they were pushing you? Were you supporting evil then? It was all good then when they were pushing you when you thought you was going to be the next big thing in WWE. What happened then? What were you sitting up there calling Vince McMahon the devil then? Were you sitting up there feeling the way you feel now? Or is it because you're dis still disgruntled by what happened years ago? And once again, I don't know the full, full story, but you know what I'm saying? Ryback feels like WWE screwed him over. And they, he may have a case there. But guess what? If everybody that WWE screwed over went on this tirade, it would be just nothing but tweets of screw you Vince McMahon and all this other stuff. And granted, people do that. But it's like, it's life. And it sucks. It's not cool. It, it's really messed up. But at the end of the day, you're an adult. You're a grown-ass man. And doing this doesn't help the situation. You're coming off like a disgruntled ex. How many of you guys broke up with someone and you never heard the end of it? Like the person just kept going at you on social media, kept talking bad about you, all this other stuff. After you, it's been years, they still don't want to let it go. Still throwing shade at you. That's what Ryback is, a.k.a. Cryback. He is literally crying about some stuff that happened years ago and has not even recovered or let it go. He hasn't. Whether he has a case or not, at some point, you got to let that go, bro. Because then you start posting toxic, awful stuff like this. And then for the supporters that actually support this, you're part of the problem, too, because you enable this clown to be a clown. Stop going to his circus. This is awful. Like I said, I think me, I can speak for a lot of others. We do not agree with what Vince be doing majority of the time. But I will never wish death upon him. I will never sit up there and talk about anyone in his family in a way that, you know what I'm saying, is personable and, and hurtful and mean. I will never do that. You want to know why? Because I just don't care that much. It's not that serious. There's bigger things to worry about in life than whether Vince McMahon is going to push the person you want him to push. Whether he deserves it or not, I'm not about to get that toxic. I can voice my displeasure, but I will never get that toxic because it's not cool. It's not necessary, and you're just wasting your energy saying some hurtful and evil things and then try to pass it off as you being woke. No, you're a clown, Ryback. You're in the position you're in right now as of this moment because you're a clown. And honestly, posted a poll what company you wanted to see right back in and the overwhelming percentage of everybody voted for you to retire. I think that may be the case. I think you may be able to hang it up, go to the circus where you belong and be the clown that you also want to be because you're acting like one. This is this is despicable because it's not what's up. Ryback, you're where you are because of shit like this. And if you want to be honest with you, bro, you, you got over and that was cool. But let's let's not sit up here and act like you were a, a ring general. You were a, literally a Goldberg ripoff, bro. You were a great value Goldberg that got actually a little bit over. That's really what you were, bro. That's it. And you weren't that really good in the ring either. You was okay. Your gimmick got you over. But let's not sit up here and act like you was giving five-star classics. Because you weren't. I, I remember that day. Those days. You were not giving five-star classics. Let's not do that. Let's not. So, comment down below. Let me know if you guys agree with me once again that Ryback should retire and join the circus. I think he needs to do this ASAP because he's found his calling. Being a clown is what he loves to do. And he continues to do it better than anybody else. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 80K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.